What is going on, Movie Meals? Uh, no Kyle, obviously. Uh, he's out of town today, but uh, I got a chance yesterday to see The Mandalorian uh, with uh, The Gunslinger, the new episode. Um, all spoilers for it, uh, but let's get into my thoughts. Um, so last week, I know I talked about uh, how I, I was loving this show. I was thinking each better episode got better and better. Um, and I, after thinking about it, I think episode three is still is now my favorite. I think it is my favorite uh, with then the, the pilot, the second episode, and then I probably would go four and then this one. Uh, but that doesn't mean I don't like it. I loved the episode. I've loved all of this. There's, uh, I know there's a lot of complaints that we're not moving forward with the, with the plot of Baby Yoda and, and all this stuff. But I, I, I like it. I, I like what we're doing. And with this episode, I had heard... I didn't get a chance to watch it till late last night, and then following that, we watched Attack of the Clones, getting ready for Rise of Skywalker, rewatching all the films, and um, I just, I had heard it was way too nostalgic, and did this, and did that, and this, and that, without, you know, they didn't, they didn't have anything spoiled for me, but I, I had heard some of that, and I didn't, I didn't hate the nostalgia, I really liked going back to Tatooine, um, I really enjoyed uh, the woman who kind of took care of Baby Yoda the whole time, we get more flavor with how much the Mandalorian still hates droids, so all that I really liked. Um, you know, I, I wasn't big on the kid bounty hunter. I like this story because it's a Western. That's what the show is. It's a, it's a Western. This is the old episode where he comes into town. Like last episode was, you know, Magnificent Seven. This episode was comes to town, kid trying to be a cowboy, doesn't want to help him, ends up helping him because it, it also benefits him. And I, I, I liked it. Uh, I liked the twist with it. Um, I am very bummed about uh, the sniper they were going after being killed because it's such a talented actress whose name is escaping me, guys. You know I forget names too much. Um, but I, 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 I'm going to miss her. I thought she was going to have a bigger role moving forward. But I really liked that sequence, that scene, uh, this reveal that the sand people speak with sign language. I, I kind of liked. And I wonder if that's George... If that's a George uh, thing, we know George was around the set quite a bit, and maybe that's something that him and uh, Filoni had come up with long ago, uh, or that just George came up with that, you know, he talked to Filoni and Favreau about, but I didn't mind it. I liked it. I thought it was really interesting getting that idea, this negotiation with the same people, which we've never seen before. The same people have always been known to be very rough and just kind of attack you to attack you. Uh, and I, uh, I, I, I like this little different interpretation. I don't think it messes with the lore in any negative way for me. Um, but yeah, I, I, the, it's a short episode. Um, you know, I would be, a lot of people, you know, you're complaining, you're complaining. There's complaints going around the internet. I've been, I've been seeing quite a bit, especially this morning since now that I've seen the episode and diving into spoilers. Um, but it, it, it's a short episode. It's, it's 30 minutes, including the credits at the end. So I, I, I'm trying hard, you know, it's hard to complain too much. You know, there's a character I didn't really like. I didn't really like the way the actor, I didn't necessarily think the actor did a bad job. I just think it was kind of the way he was written and directed, uh, which does kind of fall on Filoni a little bit and Favreau. But, um, I mean, I still enjoyed it overall as a, as a show and it, it's short. So there's not a lot, you know, it's not Game of Thrones season eight where there's so much that you can complain about because it's an hour long. This is half of that time. And, uh, I mean, it still has some, some issues, and I understand that. And I, I, I also want to get to the plot. I want to know more about Baby Yoda and all this stuff, but that's not really what we're doing right now. These are the episodes where he's traveling. This is a TV show. It's not a movie. So we are condensing. We're expanding. And I like that we're getting used to this form of Star Wars telling where it's, it's you know, it's these great episodes. And I'm, I'm enjoying it. I really did enjoy the episode overall. Um, the little twist, you know, how he... Uh, the beats the you know takes out this guy. Uh, I really liked that and all this stuff and it's a quick little episode and I, I do enjoy it. We've got still a few episodes coming up that I'm excited for and then we've got the twist ending which looks like the reveal that Boba Fett made it out of the Sarlacc pit and I love that. I really really want to see the next episode now to see if Boba Fett is now going after the Mandalorian and if that would be such a cool thing that Boba Fett had gotten out. He is now part of the guild and he or still you know part of the guild and and then now he's got the tracking fob and he's going not only after this bounty that he wanted, but also going after the Mandalorian because that would be really interesting, I think, to see Boba Fett and the Mandalorian square off. Um, because, you know, we know Boba is uh, a clone of a Mandalorian, grew up a little bit differently. Uh, and, you know, I, we also don't know a lot of that story. Uh, and I, I'd like to see some of that. And again, I think this... Uh, this episode was really good. I, it's made me really excited for the next one. It's again, maybe not my favorite out of all of them when I've sat back and really reviewed and rewatched 
Um, but again, I'm still enjoying the show as a whole. There's not an episode where I'm like, man, I hated that. You know, there are parts in the Star Wars movies that I really don't love, but I don't hate them. Uh, well, maybe there's a few I hate, you know, uh, but <laughs> some of those prequel stuff can be can be a little, you know, crazy. But there's, I, again, I enjoyed this episode. Uh, I know a lot of people are still complaining there's not a lot of character development. I think we are getting a lot with the Mandalorian. I think we've seen him change. Um, and we're, we're, we're getting to know who he is, and I, I really like that. And again, it's, it's short-form storytelling, and the episode as a whole... Uh, looked beautiful. It, it was just absolutely gorgeous to look at, especially the, the score, too, for this show is just incredible. When they're riding through the sand and you just hear the drums and all that, I, I adored it. But, uh, but yeah, that's probably about all I got on this, another short episode. But, guys, I want to know what you think. Please comment below, let us know. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Uh, and, as always, thanks for watching, Mom, and we'll see you guys.